Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some games in my Clemson. I'm doing this because I felt it was a bit harsh on the American Destroyers in the Samson review and I want to show you why they can be fun. And the Clemson is the first destroyer in the American line that I think is actually really good. This first game I'm going to show you, it's probably the best one I've ever had in the Clemson. Oops, even though I get my engine wrecked very early, so I use a smoke screen to take cover and escape from the enemy ships. So the thing that makes the Clemson much better than the Samson and the Wix is that, well it's actually just its firepower increase, it's got the exact same guns as the previous two destroyers, but they come in double mounts now, so you get a 6 gun broadside. And the torpedo range has gone up from 4.5km to 5.5km which just makes the torpedoes, you know, a lot more useful. So the Clemson, I really feel like I can actually contribute to my team in this ship and do so on a regular basis. You see, in this game, I've kind of gone ahead scouting for my team. Um, unfortunately, when I kind of turned back there, my team didn't, so... I'm now not really in front of my team. Spotted enemy Phoenix coming out of that smoke, um, yeah, smoke screen at short range, so I pull back because I don't really want to get very close to these cruisers. I'm happy enough shooting at them at long range because I can probably dodge the return fire, but at close range I don't want to mess with the cruiser. You also saw me there, I switched fire to the enemy destroyer because that's the priority target for me in an American destroyer. Killing enemy destroyers is basically what these ships excel at. And I'm also trying to keep this island in between myself and the other enemy ships in close range so I can just... I just have to watch that single phoenix for return fire. But that Kuma is coming around and is going to be able to have shots on me shortly. Put a few shots in its direction. And... I don't... Th mm, those probably were actually aimed at me, those very poor shots from that Kuma. Okay, it's not leading anywhere near enough. And what you'll see me do for the next couple of minutes is that I basically just sail back and forth across this strait here. Basically I'm just trying to get the enemy to shoot at me rather than my allies because they've got a very low chance of hitting me at, you know, my maximum firing range. Well, you know, compared to me, my allies are massive, slow-moving targets. So basically the way I see it is every shot that's fired at me is actually a good thing. Especially if it misses. So I'm pulling around here. I want to keep the enemy at maximum range. And I also don't fire till I'm broadside on. Partly to bring my guns, you know, all three of my guns, or all six of my guns to bear. But also because I lose a lot of speed in turns. The Clemson, like the Samson and the Wix, well, not so much the Wix, but like the Samson in particular, it loses a lot of speed in turns. And you want to be going as fast as possible for these maneuvers to be effective. I took a hit there, but it didn't do a lot of damage. I'm actually pulling back a little bit, because these enemy ships are a bit too close. Especially that destroyer there, but I can put a bit of fire into that destroyer. And also me being in an advanced position like this, it also kind of helps to keep all these guys spotted so my team can react accordingly. That battleship was actually, well it is, well out of my torpedo range, but I fired those torpedoes because for some reason I thought it was actually sailing towards me, or at least a lot more than it is. So, but, well they were kind of wasted, since they're not going to reach the target. But, I managed to sink St. Louis. I actually set it on fire um, a long time ago. And apparently that fire, well I think it was actually two fires, burnt it to death. See there my torpedoes there on target, but I see it just didn't quite have the legs to reach the enemy battleship. But it almost looks like it spotted at the last minute, so it's actually turned away to dodge them. Um, which is kind of good because it means that it can't bring its guns to bear for a little while. Or maybe it was just turning to engage my allied battleship. Because it seems to be engaging that one, no problems. But whatever. The thing is, my shots as you see, they're only doing about 500 damage per hit. But, 
I've already got 54, 57 of them on target, and just the rate of fire of this ship is enough that it will actually all add up pretty quickly. Especially since most times I'm firing my guns, it's either against a destroyer where you don't have to do a lot of damage, or it's in situations like this, where I'm essentially just adding my DPM to my team's DPM, and trying to get these guys to actually shoot at me instead of that cruiser behind me because the cruise behind me is actually way more vulnerable than I am in this situation. You can also see the accuracy of my guns there. I'm firing six gun broadsides at pretty close to my maximum range and, well, the last two broadsides have both been, you know, six hits out of six shots. Oops, I've taken another hit there from that battleship. I actually did a bit of damage, but I've still got plenty of hit points. Um, my team's actually not doing so well here got one battleship left. Um, there are also two cruisers but they've both pulled way back behind me. I've also pulled back a fair way just because I don't want to get close to enemy ships. But luckily for us the enemy ships aren't really pushing forwards yet. They're still hanging back a bit. I'm moving back over the strait just to give a bit more support to my friendly battleship. But unfortunately the enemy ships are actually out of my range at the moment. So they can't see me, so they can't shoot at me, which means they're all, or at least that one, is just firing away at that battleship. Just come within range, and fire off some shots. Managed to get two hits, which is pretty alright. Especially since it was behind an island and at maximum range. And that was my friendly battleship sinking. Which means I'm basically all alone over here at the moment. But I kind of side here that St. Louis is getting very close and this island's kind of obscuring me from its view. So I'm going to go for a little ambush torpedo launch here before I run away because obviously I'm not going to stay to fight these ships by myself. And there it is. Launch the torpedoes, pop the smoke screen, turn on the engine boost because I want to get out of here very quickly. And I just turn around so that I have the smoke screen in between myself and the enemy ships and just head straight at high speed to get away from here. You see, they've already lost sight of me and they're just firing at random into the smoke. And I'm firing away at the battleship because I know smoke the smoke screen will actually prevent them from observing me regardless of how often I shoot. Um, and I've got three torpedoes on target there. Obviously not enough to sink it, but would have done a fair bit of damage. Oh yes! It's left on a tiny sliver of health. Fire blind where I think it was. But obviously I missed. Another Clemson's coming up to help me, but launching its torpedoes at far too long a range. Okay, taking the shot. Torpedoes. Two hits, not enough to kill it. Actually, it looks like they did no damage. There we go. Sunk another St. Louis. And now there are three battleships kind of approaching myself and this other destroyer. Um, in terms of team-wise, we're actually doing all right. We've got more ships, but the enemy team is quite heavily concentrated down the south here, whereas our team's scattered a bit, mostly around our base, so they're fairly close to being able to support us. A few enemy fighters flying overhead. I put up a bit of AA fire, but the AA guns on the Clemson are very weak. And now what I'm thinking here, I'm well, obviously shooting at these battleships while I can, I was thinking that this smokescreen would protect me, but not as well as I had hoped. So basically I'm just trying to get behind this cover of this island, and from here I'm basically intending to launch some torpedo attacks on these battleships and use the island for cover. Didn't take any hits there, but I did a fair bit of damage to the battleships. And now I'm actually in a really good position to shoot at them, because they can't shoot back at me over this little island, whereas my guns can shoot over it quite easily and hit them. But bring the ship around and launch some torpedoes. 
I slow down a bit because I want the battleships to be a bit more ahead of where they are, just so that I don't have to expose myself too much when I launch the torpedoes here. And there's six torpedoes, and I turn around to try and regain the cover of the island as quickly as I can. And I actually went straight there for a second because I was expecting return fire and I wanted to dodge it. And well, unfortunately, I thought it was over, but it wasn't. I turned around and fired two more torpedoes at the nearer of. Oh, Six more torpedoes at the near of the two battleships. Managed to sink that first one, which also got me the Confederate Medal for doing. I can never remember what it is. I think it's damaging six ships and taking away 20% of their hit points or something like that. But anyway, six more torpedoes in the water. And it looks like they've missed that New York. Put a few more shots into the Congo, but as you can see, it's not doing a lot of damage. And seeing the success of my torpedo strike on the Wyoming, I decided to come back around for another attack on this New York. Um, which kind of wasn't a good idea because I am just realised I'm within 3 kilometres of the ship and it's got clear firing lines at me. So I lose a lot of health there and its secondary guns are firing away. And I can't use my smoke screen for another 16 seconds. So I'm just going directly away from it trying to minimise the target get three hits, and I also get the high caliber award. Um, but obviously I didn't sink it. So swing the ship around, fire my torpedoes on the other side. And I'm back to just trying to get away from this guy. I'm far, far too close to it. But other than that first broadside where I took a lot of damage, I so far I haven't taken very much at all. Oh, here comes more shots though. Oh, that wasn't so bad. And also, I could have fired the smoke screen, but I was feeling alright at my ability to dodge those, so I didn't. And, well, my second broadside torpedoes managed to sink it. And here's the enemy aircraft carrier. I was actually aware that I was running towards it, but I kind of didn't think it was a threat to me at, well, at all, that a battleship could actually sink me. But now I can focus on killing the enemy's aircraft carrier. There's another enemy battleship um, way up to the north, but actually I think it's just died. So I really am all by myself killing this aircraft carrier. So I also managed to get two Citadel hits there with high explosive. Um, aircraft carriers don't have a lot of armour. And even though Citadel penetration with high explosive shells don't actually do that much damage, it's still pretty nice. Managed to set it on fire, which means that, well, it can't launch or any more aircraft, so I'm very safe from it at this particular moment in time. And I just fire away with my guns. And my torpedoes are about to hit. Um, but yeah, one of my allies takes the kill from me. Not that I'm complaining that much. I've got four kills. I don't really need any more. And right now, my team has four ships. The enemy team has one, that Congo battleship from earlier. And, well, I decide it's my job to get down there and help my team kill that Congo. Um... What I'm not realising, because basically I'm thinking my team's going to just wipe this Congo out. And actually, we'll just speed things up for a bit here, since it's going to take me a while to get down there. Basically, I'm thinking my team's going to wipe out the Congo. I have to get down there, and, or I should get down there and help do a bit more damage and get a bit more experience. But what I haven't realised in my little four-on-one calculation is that the two destroyers on my team are both Clemsons, so we're going to have to get very close to the Congo to actually kill it. The battleship we have is a South Carolina, which well, it's also going to get very close to the Congo, and it's also really inferior to the Congo. And our aircraft carriers actually run out of aircraft. So it's really not of any use. Um, my allied destroyers just died. And you see, the Congo is actually on full health. And the Congo is firing away at this um, South Carolina behind me, and I doubt the South Carolina actually has the range to hit the Congo yet. So all in all, this isn't actually a very good situation for my team. This one ship... I mean, I should also mention that the, we all have to get close to the Congo, but the Congo is actually a very fast ship. It's a battle cruiser, not a battleship. 
So getting close to it's actually a lot harder than, you know, if it doesn't let us, it's actually a lot harder than it should be. And unfortunately for us, this Congo is actually a really good player. Well, I can't say about really good, but it played very good in this particular engagement. So once the Congo spotted me, I started opening fire. You see I'm kind of weaving here just to prevent my targets. And what I'm actually doing, I'm waiting for the Congo to fire at me. Because I don't want to be broadside onto it when it fires. But I have to turn broadside on to launch my torpedoes. So I'm waiting for it to fire before I can turn broadside on to launch my torpedoes. But it's also waiting for me to turn broadside on to fire at me. But essentially it gets close enough that it decides it has to take the risk. I fire my torpedoes. But the Congo immediately turns away from me, which means those torpedoes are going to miss. So I bring the other side around, because I know it's going to be a little while before it can fire at me again. Launch my other side torpedoes, and I have to be expecting more shots very soon, so I turn my bow back into the ship. You see again it's turning broadside on, so those second lots... Where is it turning? A little bit, I think, which means those second shots are going to miss as well. I was kind of expecting return fire here. Here it comes. So I managed to dodge that, and now I should be able to turn and launch my second, or really my third lot of torpedoes. Take a big hit there. And, well, that's me dead. Basically, I was coming around to launch more torpedoes, but at the same time, it was coming around to bring its forward guns to bear on me. And at this point, I realized something was actually terribly wrong. Um, basically, we're about to run out of time and we're going to get a draw. And the thing is, after I killed that aircraft carrier, I was actually right near the cap, the flag, so I could have actually easily won this game for my team. If, instead of having chasing that last kill, I would have, you know, sat on the flag, won it, no problems. So, this draw is my fault. But anyway, high caliber, confederate, two double strikes, 191 hits with my guns, and 15 torpedo hits. Still the best game I've ever had in my Clemson. Not surprisingly, I was top of my team, and not surprisingly that Congo was top of the enemy team. As you see here, 27,000 damage with torpedoes, 30,000 with high explosive shells, and that's in a ship with 11,000 hit points. So yeah, good game. Not quite the result I was hoping for, but... Well, it's my fault we didn't get it. Not to be unfair, that battleship we also, it's my team's fault. We all should have capped, but we all chased after the battleship. Anyway, this next game's, well, a bit better feeling. I think I need a win after watching that, because that was a bit painful. So, I was originally heading up towards the A cap, but um, I was the only one on my team heading that way, and I decided to come and help out, and B was just a bit more useful. So I'm firing away at this Ubari. I'm taking return fire from some cruisers over there, but that's at long range, so I'm not actually very concerned about it. I see they keep missing. And, well, I'm actually getting a lot of hits on that Ubari. I took out one of its turrets there, and I've set it on fire. And, well, I can't shoot the Ubari anymore. There's actually nothing in range, so... Oops, I just missed that island, because I was too busy looking around. Basically, I'm thinking we have to go and deal with this Phoenix. At long range, as I said, I can pretty confidently engage it in a gunnery duel. Oh! Enemy cruiser found I killed that Ubari. Just the fire just burned and burned and burned until it was dead. Put a few shots into the Wix here as I pass. The Wix is the only enemy destroyer, so... It's a pretty good situation for us, at least in the destroyer battle. Since I'm in a Clemson, and the Clemson is vastly superior to the Wix. At least in my opinion. Oh, could almost put a few shots in those enemy battleships. Oh, they're taking shots at me, I think. But those are very poorly aimed shots. Take a hit from the Clemson, uh, the Clemson, the Phoenix behind me, and it wrecks my engine. But... Solved, sir. Didn't actually take a lot of damage, and I can fix the engine pretty quickly. And so, decide now's the time to start engaging this Phoenix. Um... Three hits at maximum range is pretty good. Especially on the cruiser size target. The enemy team has taken the lead. And basically I'm kind of just getting it to shoot at me. Well, as you see my team's returning fire on it out you know, sending fire out at it, and it's concentrating on me when it's basically not gonna hit me. 
So I'm basically hoping my team are going to get some free shots in on this guy. I mean, you see, it's already taking damage, so my strategy's working. It's actually continuing to fire at me, even though my allies are actually closer to it, and bigger targets. So it would be far better off shooting at them. I think it's just switched to that St. Louis now. But it's also just gone behind that island, so... Basically I'm going to have to go forward again and try and find more targets to annoy. And it seems odd, but I actually feel like that's the biggest contribution I have to my teams in these games, is that I basically just get my enemies to shoot at me, instead of shooting at ships with bigger guns. And, you know, enemy ships actually miss you quite a lot, so it kind of doesn't matter if they shoot at you, it's a good thing. Especially if you're at long range. And then of course destroyers are actually really good in the end game, especially American destroyers since we have guns and can finish off enemy ships with gunfire as well as torpedoes. But just the mobility of these ships are actually very important when you have to get from one side of the map to the other very quickly. And the Clemson is very fast for that. I was approaching that straight there, kind of thinking I'd get a tor launch some torpedoes down that not straight, but looking at the enemy team's disposition, it's not going to happen. Like the only way I could effectively do it would be to go out the other side, and I don't want to drive in front of all those guns at, you know, that kind of range. I was thinking I might be able to get some shots off on that Phoenix at long range, but it's not going to happen. And then I see that there's a... Oh, I thought for a second that Wyoming was going to come around, but no, it's not. But I do see that there's a St. Um, St. Louis, Phoenix and Kawachi coming around the other side of the island. So I delay for a little bit, and then put my speed on, launch my torpedoes. I was aiming at the Kawachi there, I think. But unfortunately it started turning just as I started firing my torpedoes, so there's a good chance those are going to miss. But even if they do, there are two ships behind it that I might get lucky and hit. Open fire on my guns, or with my guns, and they do reasonable damage. But as I say, it's mostly to let the enemy team know I'm here and hopefully they'll shoot at me. Yeah, my torpedoes have obviously missed. It looks like they're going to miss everybody. They might hit that cruiser. No, it looks like misses all round. But that battleship's not having a good day. It's under fire from lots of my allies. Including myself. Oh, someone's shooting at me, that's good. I managed to set it on fire, and well, it dies, but not to me. Okay, next ship. And the enemy's kind of getting close to the ones that are hanging around that strait. So I was keeping an eye on them just to see if they would come through. And I'm taking torpedoes from that Wix there. Um, Luckily it's only got a very short torpedo range, so those don't come anywhere near hitting me. But, basically now I'm thinking I've got to focus on this Wix, which actually gets a couple of shots on me. Um, Clemson and the Wix have got the same guns, so we're both actually very accurate. The only real difference in this kind of fight is that I've got six guns to its three. Or eight to its four, if you prefer. Which means I'm probably going to win. But... If I aim poorly, which I'm kind of doing since I'm not getting any hits, it could still manage to pull this off. Oh, there we go, two hits. Took out its torpedo launcher. And you can see it's making a beeline for my friendly battleship, so I really want to kill it. And actually, it's ignoring me completely. I'm focusing down our battleship, who's gone off and got itself isolated up in the north there. And there are lots of enemy ships around, lots of them on low health. And when the Wix goes into the smoke screen, I basically decide, after taking a few blind shots, I'm probably better off trying to finish off some of these cruisers rather than try and chase down and destroy what I can't see. So unfortunately, as soon as I see the... or as soon as I start shooting at the St. Louis, the Wix makes itself visible, and it's on very, very low health, so I really should be trying to finish it off. But I don't. Instead, my battleship there kills it, but before... That Wix died, it launched torpedoes, and those torpedoes will sink my friendly battleship. So I have failed in my role as a destroyer killer. I let that destroyer get through and sink my battleship. But while that was happening, I sunk another enemy cruiser. 
that St. Louis I was shooting at, I'd say sunk it, I really just finished it off, it was already on very low health. And, well, right now it's a good situation to be in. There are three enemy ships around. For some reason, two of them are heading back up to the A cap. Whereas this Wyoming here is um, heading down towards C. So it's effectively isolated itself from its team. So I feel quite comfortable coming in close to finish this guy off. I can actually fire my guns at it right now, but... I don't particularly want to let it know that I'm here any sooner than I have to. Unfortunately the Clemson's got about 7km detection range so that doesn't last for long. And I decided I might as well put a few shots in. 3 shots do 495 damage. It's not a lot but it all adds up. Oh! And I took return fire from that Phoenix behind me. I think it was a Phoenix. That cruiser behind me I should say. And that guy's actually firing very accurately. But basically I've got my speed boost on. And I know I'm a lot faster than this. And basically I think pretty soon I'm going to be out of its firing range. So I just keep going straight to keep my speed up. And also closer distance on this Wyoming in front of me. And I'm well within torpedo range at the moment. I'm basically just waiting till I can get around this island to launch my torpedoes. Anti-aircraft guns firing, but as I said, they're not particularly effective. I fire my guns, bring my ship around. It's a bit too early because I can't, don't have anywhere to go. Wyoming's actually taking a lot of damage from friendly torpedo bombers there. But I launch my torpedoes, get behind this little island. And let's watch them go. Six torpedoes was far more than needed. I only need one hit to sink this battleship. I put a bit of guns in. And there's it's dead. It said one shot, one torpedo, sunk the battleship. It only had 6,000 hit points, and my torpedoes do, I think, around 10,000 damage each. So, yeah, one hit was all that was required. I move up to capture B. Well, I mean, it's right here, so why not? plenty of enemy aircraft around so I'm probably going to get spotted pretty soon but it doesn't really look like there's anybody in a position to fire at me and looking at the map enemy only have three ships left they're all actually fairly isolated there's a battleship in the center here a cruiser down in the south and an aircraft carrier which judging by its aircraft's flight patterns is going to be in the north near A somewhere uh, we've got two destroyers chasing after that aircraft carrier, or really I should say hunting it down. Our victory is in so fight. I figure I'm going to go after the battleship in the centre, since, well really it's just a case of I feel it's much easier for me to close the range with the battleship than it is to close the range with a cruiser. And the battleship's closer. So I've just captured B, which will put team my, head, my, my team well ahead on points eventually. And luckily for me, the battleship's turned, so it's coming head on with me, which means we're going to close the range very quickly. So I won't be under its secondary fire for very long. I come around the corner. And the battleship's turning, so I'm not actually very optimistic of those torpedoes hitting. But switched to my guns. And I'm actually doing a surprising amount of damage here, considering, well, I've only got tiny guns, and this is a battleship. And basically, what I'm trying to do here is, ooh, I'm taking fire from that cruiser as well at very long range, but it misses. Basically, I've got very close to the ship, but I don't want to fire right now, because I'm not, it doesn't present a very good target, so I save my second of three torpedoes till I'm kind of broadside on. And they're able to finish off that battleship. Enemy battleship so coming close like that with battleships, oh, it's sure. dangerous, as you saw, I lost a lot of health doing it. But it is a good way to guarantee torpedo hits, especially in the late game like this, where basically getting rid of that battleship does a lot more damage to the enemy team than me losing half my hit points did to my team. So, enemy aircraft carrier, no it hasn't been spotted yet, but it's 
If you look at the map, this is a very good idea of where it is. But there's this phoenix in front of me. It's on very low health. But, well, it's a question of whether we'll close in time. We've got up to 964 superiority points. I'm not sure if that's what you call them in this game, but it's what I'm going to call them. And we are gaining them very rapidly. And I want to get this one more kill. So I'm very low health. I should be able to do it. Firing my guns at maximum range. Took out its steering. But just didn't have the time. So we went on points. 111 shots and 5 torpedo hits sunk 4 ships. 1300 experience. But I won, so get a bit of extra experience. Again, 30,000 damage with HE and 20-something thousand with torpedoes. And that's probably around the... Now I'd say it's probably the best I do in terms of damage, but my ship in the Clemson has 11,000 hit points of damage. So I'm basically doing five times my ship's damage, and that's pretty good in any ship. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.